Okay, let's talk about the design of the Toucan. The first thing about the design of the Toucan to say is that it's very technical. There's lots of plastic covering the exterior and those plastic pieces are very sophisticated both in their shape, in their compound, and in how they interact with each other. Uh, the Toucan is more plastic coverage than just about every other adventure boot in the category except for the CD Adventure, but frankly this model is better executed than that one. Uh, the first thing to talk about is that the Toucan is a quasi uh, semi mechanical hinge. It's Alpine Star's nested hinge type of, of design, which is something that they use on the Tech 7, uh, some of the SMX boots in the road category, several others. And it works like this it has two pieces of plastic that sit over top of each other, not really a mechanical pivot, but they can move over top of each other. And because they are not connected directly and sewn down, it means that there's less folding and bending around the, uh, the exterior of the boot. And you can kind of see that action a little bit here on the outside. I'll try to, to show you a little bit about it. Now it also has a, a torsion bar or a kind of um, blade system here in the front uh, on, the, on the shin plate that tucks up inside of it. And I'll try to show you that also. This piece, uh, this middle piece here actually inserts and moves in and out of the, the shin, piece, shin plate. And so that allows that, that length, um, that dimension to increase as you bend your foot backwards and decrease as you bend your foot uh, forwards so that you don't have to um, don't have to fold all these plastic pieces. The inside of the boot does not have a mechanical hinge, but what it does have is multiple compounds of plastic. And this is one of the cool things that uh, Alpine Star has really put in the sweat and the time on. Uh, th there's multiple plastic densities. This burn guard here is very soft. The plastic on the toe is also fairly soft. They seem to be a polyurethane, which is high quality plastic. Uh, but things like the heel counter on the back where you need a lot of impact protection are very rigid. So. It, the shapes of all of these pieces are also very, very well executed. There's no spot on this particular boot where there's any pinching or bending. Everything was really, really well executed. And then on top of that, you know, they do these other little clever details. One that I didn't even mention for the fastener for the buckle, the pass through for the buckle that actually pivots a little bit. And that helps with comfort and bending also making sure that these plastic pieces don't fold in and, and bend on you. Now, why is all of that important? Well, we'll get to that in, in, in more detail later, but really this is a, a common sense thing that I want everyone to remember. The more you cover yourself in plastic with padding underneath in particular, uh, the safer you are. And this boot has lots and lots of plastic on it. And that's a really good thing. <laughs>